Ravens, they just love doing this where they drop this bomb, that one, that one, that one, that one, all at the same time. So we as Ravens fans, you you used to it, but you never really get used to stuff like this because it's always crazy. Anyway, Ravens got so many people back today. And let's go over the big names first. The first name that's back with the squad, back with the team officially is Daryl Worley. The Ravens signed Daryl Worley to a one-year deal, baby. And, of course, this is most likely going to be for a training camp and whatnot, so they have more bodies at the cornerback position. Uh, so it's no surprise there. He was with the team last year, and now he makes his return. Now, who else they got back? Well, first and foremost, uh, Vince Beagle. They did place him on injured reserve uh so that his season i mean he tore his uh achilles so his season was already over but now it's officially uh over so hope that he can have a, a clean recovery uh not only physically but mentally too because something like that especially if it's been happening over and over and over that can be very mentally draining um so hopefully that his mentals will be good uh, moving forward because that that could take a toll on you because you just it's like you're so close to an opportunity and then it gets snatched away and again with this not being the first time that it happened that's got to be tough now on the positive news somebody made their return today for the baltimore Ravens. somebody that's been missing in action for the baltimore Ravens. somebody that we love for the Baltimore Ravens, who figures to be such a big part of this offense for these Baltimore Ravens, made their return to practice today. <laughs> Rashad Bateman. I know y'all was thinking somebody else. Rashad Bateman is back. He is back. He had missed the past couple of practices, but now Rashad Bateman has made his return, baby. See, as Ravens fans, we, we get a little extra excited. When we hear positive news when it comes to injuries, because especially after last year, we heard so much bad news literally every single week with injuries. We heard so much bad news. So that messed us up really bad. So that's why when guys are coming back, when guys get healthy, we celebrate just that much more. We celebrate that much harder. We, we have that much more of a good time when these guys make their returns. So shout out to Rashad Bateman being back. We love it. We love it. Now, last but certainly not least, we talked about how they, they did say that today would be the day where we would find out if the doctors cleared him. We would find out if the doctors were like, you know what? All right, you're either good to go or it's a no. And today, like, the timing would be so perfect because after practice is over, like we mentioned earlier, after practice is over, Justice Hill, a running back, he's going to be speaking. Mike Davis, a running back, he's going to be speaking. And the running back's coach is also going to be speaking to the media. So what better day for the Ravens feature back to be back then today, we always talk about how timing is everything. This timing couldn't be any better. J.K. Dobbins, he passed his physical. He's been activated off the pup list, and he makes his return. I'm so happy for him. I'm super happy for him. Because last year, I was super sad for him. Because last year, we just know he was going to take a jump. Uh, we, we, we saw his rookie year. We saw the spurts. We, 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 we just saw the flashes. We saw what he could do. And he wasn't even a feature back his rookie year. But this season, especially since Gus is probably going to be out for a while, um, J.K. Dobbins has an opportunity to truly be the feature back. We know the Baltimore Ravens, they like doing backs by committee. They've been doing that for a long time, and I would expect them to continue to do that. But... At the same time, with Gus being out, I expect J.K. Dobbins' workload to increase. Now, um, with him being back, J.K. making his big return, uh, let's see how they ease him in. Don't expect him to play. He's not going to play in the first preseason game, for sure. 
Second, second preseason game, I, I wouldn't even think he was going to play. Third preseason game, I still don't think he was going to play. But week one, yeah, I, I think he'll be good to go for week one. But only time will tell, but this is a start. This is where it has to start. Now, J.K., he, he, was, he, was, he, was like, he was like halfway right, I guess. And he wasn't on there for too long. Because remember, Ian Rappaport was like, oh, J.K. Dobbins. The Ravens got some reports on J.K. Dobbins that he's gonna, he's probably going to end up being on the physically unable to perform list. And then he may even, week one, it's, it's, it's up in the air right now. It's questionable. He may not be ready for week one. And J.K. Dobbins said, whoa, 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 hold up there, buddy. I'm not just going to let you be reporting like that on me. He said, hold up. He said, I might not even be on the physically unable to perform list. And he said, oh, trust and believe there, buddy. I'm going to be ready by week one. Just watch. And he said he was tired of all these people talking. He said they've been quiet. And uh, y'all y'all remember J.K. Dobbins addressing all that. But now uh, this can make him a man of his word. He knows his body. And he done been through injury before and bounced back. So he knows what it's like. So now, this is just a beautiful day. This is a beautiful day. Now, um, not so beautiful news like we talked about earlier uh, with Tyler Linderbaum. That, um, that, 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 that still worries me. Uh, because this is just the, the concern on what's it going to be. And I guess we, we just got to be patient. We just got to wait it out. Um, ah. <laughs> Because, you know, with, with, with Ravens news, it's like we could have all these positives. It's like, yes, 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 yes. But then it got to be some heart, some heartache thrown in there, too. Vince Beagle, injury reserve. Tyler Lindenbaum, uh, Liz Frank, injury. So, I don't know, man. But this is a big week for the Ravens. This is a big day. It's only Monday. And Ravens, like, they active, active today. Vince Beagle, injury reserve. Signing Daryl Worley, sign Justin Tucker to his contract extension, activate J.K. Dobbins from physically unable to perform list. So he's back in Rashad Bateman. He makes his return today, too. And they got a preseason game coming up in a couple of days. And, you know, it's funny when we, when we did that update video about an hour ago. Um, that's the one thing we forgot to mention because it's so much going on. It's so much going on all in a, in a day. Uh, but, yeah, they got a preseason game coming up against them Tennessee Titans. And, again, this will be a chance for a lot of young guys to showcase themselves. A lot of young guys to really put on, man. Because, again, opportunities are limited. So you truly have to maximize your effort. Uh, you have to maximize every single opportunity that you get. Because these rosters, they are small. And a lot of people, this is it for them. This is it for so many people. So many people who, who dreamt of making it to the NFL, making it to the league. They, they spent their whole lives from, from Little League uh, to playing in high school to, to playing in college. Some got drafted. Some got didn't. Some walked on undrafted free agents. Some maybe played in Canada or somewhere else or wherever. And now they're currently on an NFL roster getting ready to play in a preseason game. It's like, oh, they, they so close. To that dream of being an NFL player. But a lot of people's dreams are going to get crushed within the next few weeks. A lot of people are going to have to realize what's the backup plan going to be over the next few weeks. So it's a tough, harsh reality. Uh, it's for NFL. It's just the 1%. 1% of people make it. And 1% obviously is not a big number. That means 99% don't. Most people don't. And you could put in all the work. You could just, you could give it your all and not make it. Tough, tough business, man. Tough business. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, what I'm looking forward to the most Thursday night uh, when Ravens play the Titans, I'm looking forward to the undrafted uh, receivers. The undrafted free agents have receivers. Or really just any receivers that play, really. Because I, I just want I, I to see the start of something. The one I'm looking forward to the most is Shamar Bridges. He, he, he got my vote for being my favorite to make it. So we'll see. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep going, man.
Keep going. Keep pushing. We out.